Hello, my name is Ben and on this YouTube channel I document my own print-on-demand journey. Today I'd like to talk to you about Spreadshirt again and my strategy on Spreadshirt and how I upload and the differences between the European and the US marketplace. As you might know if you follow my channel, I really like Spreadshirt, it works really well for me. As you can see here, um, this is the these are the last three months. I can actually change it to the last six months. As you can see, this is where I started. I think I started in week 45, 46 last year. And then I started to get the first sales and it started to ramp up. And now, as you can see, I mean, you know, you've got a bad week, then you've got a good week. I mean, some of the good weeks I had yeah, eight or seven sales a week. I think after just a few months into print on demand, this is really good. Um, in terms of my strategy, I upload 20 designs every day. Uh, occasionally, some designs get rejected for marketplace standards. And that is because they are spreadsheet. They are very... I think very careful. They have um, a few other standards in place compared to other websites like Redbubble. So they actually check designs. I guess it's a sort of a, a bot that, that checks these designs. For example, on Redbubble, if you upload, it will definitely be on the marketplace with Spreadshirt. Some designs go into a pending mode and then I think someone has a look at them or they will be checked by, a, let's say, a bot or whatever. Um, but definitely some of them are getting rejected. Not many though. Not that many on the European marketplace. For some reasons, the same designs get rejected on the US marketplace from time to time. Not that many, but still I get more rejections on the US marketplace, which is a bit strange. And it's not necessarily for copyright issues. I, I You know, I don't have any copyright um, issues. I don't infringe on any copyrights or so. It is more about their marketplace standards. And yeah, I mean, I did another video. If you want to check my videos out, that I, I did a video on why people get uh, their designs rejected on Spreadshirt. And sometimes it's just nothing you can do. You have to contact them and then prove that you actually have the rights um, on this of this design. Well, however, I wanted to talk to you about the difference between both marketplaces because as you can see here, this is the European marketplace, which basically includes the UK marketplace, the German one, the French one, I think there's an Italian one, Spanish one, uh, a Dutch one, and I think there's also, I, I can't remember, <laughs> there, there, there's quite a few marketplaces in Europe and they are all connected. And this is what I get. I get sales, you know, from different countries, really. I mean, I'm, I'm based in the UK. But I get I get sales on on different uh, from different countries. People order from Denmark, from Germany, wh wherever. Lots of different sales, and I think it works really well for me. Now, if I go to the U.S. marketplace, this is what I had. So only two sales um, since I started, and I also st I didn't start in week forty five last year. I think it was a few weeks later, maybe more like week fifty. But I still would have expected a similar. A similar number of, of sales, at least. Um, however, I think Spreadshirt, I, I, I don't know, but I think Spreadshirt is a German company. It might be wrong, but they've been around for, I mean, I think they were one of the first print-on-demand companies. Um, and I think that might be one reason, because uh, they might be quite big in Europe. I think in the US, probably not that big. And that might be the reason that just the traffic is a bit lower. I think I checked that, I checked that recently, and I actually saw that the traffic on the US marketplace was a bit lower. But however, it wasn't that much lower. So I would still expect a fair number of sales, especially because I upload the same designs on the European and the US marketplace. So it is a bit strange. I I start to change my strategy today a little bit because what I normally do in terms of uploading, I I upload every day 20 designs. I start to run the upload tool every morning, my um, flying upload upload tool. I put 20 designs in and upload them. So flying, um, no, I mean, Spreadshirt, they have 20 uploads per day you can you can do. And um, yeah, basically this is all done by the automated upload tool. However, I think what happens on Spreadshirt, if you go to the Spreadshirt website, so if you go to the Spreadshirt website, and let's say you want to buy something as a customer and you go to, um, yeah, men's t-shirts, for example. Well, you know, there is a category here, newest. Now, if someone is just interested in new shirts, for example, or if you have, if you're interested in, let's say here, there's an autism awareness shirt. So let's say you're interested in that and you just look for autism awareness and then you click on newest because you're just interested in the newest designs. Well, if I upload them in the morning, like in six or six or seven o'clock in the UK, you know, it will be middle of the night in the US. So 
people might not actually see it because there's the likelihood is that less people are, you know, looking for shirts during the night. However, in Europe, people will, you know, when they start shopping, let's say in the morning, people will actually see them in this newest, um, let's say, category here. So what I'll do from now, I, I only upload the European to the European marketplace in the morning. And in the evening after work, I will upload to the US marketplace. And maybe, maybe that will give me a, a difference. Maybe then, because people might actually go and look for the newest shirts, you know, they might actually see them then because, um, yeah, that, that would then be in the middle of the day in the US or maybe even late morning. So that might work and it might give me a few additional sales. So that's what I'm going to try now because I, I, I don't understand the difference in, in terms of sales between both marketplaces. It, it doesn't make sense to me. So maybe really, and it came to my into my mind this morning, maybe it's really the different timing. So yeah, this evening I'll start to upload to the US marketplace for the first time in the evening and see if that makes any difference. Um, it might not be, but maybe it, it will. And I'll keep you updated on that. But then besides that, I really like Spreadshirt. I use, as I said, Flying Upload. And if you have any more questions, just let me know. Hope you liked the video, this quick update. If you did, then please smash the like button. And if you want to follow me on the print on demand journey, then please subscribe to the channel. Thanks a lot. Bye.